As you sit and you meditate, you're learning to watch these thoughts and not react to them. You're learning to understand that thoughts come in and thoughts go. So when, I te when I'm leading you through meditation, I'm going to say, let that, path, that thought pass like a phenomenon of nature, like clouds across the sky. So a thought comes of what you have to do tomorrow. You don't suddenly grab out your pen and paper or your cell phone and start to write it down. You just let it pass. The thought of how annoying your mother is, you just let it pass. The thought of how much, how, how much you're afraid of a test that you have, you let it pass. You let it go and you come back to the point of focus, which I'm going to give you. Make sense? Okay. So you can concentrate on anything. You can concentrate on a word. You can concentrate on a mantra. You can concentrate on an internal image. You can concentrate, concentrate on an external sound. That's why I do the invocation in the beginning. How many of you felt calmer after I did the chant? You felt calmer. So I do that because sound has an effect. You know, many people, their minds are restless when they have a sound. It calms down the mind. So the sound I'm going to give you is a traditional one, but know that you can use anything. Even if you, you meditated. So the sound I'm going to give you is a classic Sanskrit sound called Soham. Soham. It's very classic. So the first sound is So. Second sound is Hum. And you do the so on internally on the breath and the in breath. You do the hum on the out breath. Okay, can I hear you say just say so hum with me? So hum. So hum. Now, what is so hum? Well, it literally means I am or I am that. It just is an I am statement. It's also supposedly the sound the breath makes. So supposedly, it's like. I'm exaggerating. I know it sounds like a little strange, but so hum, right? Could you turn that volume down a little bit? Because, and then I don't think I need that much, but I want you to hear the sound. So that's the natural sound. And if you do this, it gives you something to focus on. It's very calming, and you'll do it internally, mentally, so you're not going to say it out loud. You could easily say Coca Cola. You could just do something, any sound, or you could do a sound from your own tradition your own spiritual tradition, it would have that same focus. But Soham is traditional, so I'm going to give it to you. It's really easy to focus on. So I'm going to say, inhale, hear the sound of So mentally. Exhale, hear the sound of Hum mentally. Again and again, just fo that's all you focus on. Now what do you imagine will happen when you try to focus on So on the inhalation and Hum on the exhalation? What do you think will occur? You know where you're, ideally you know where you are, but probably what's going to happen is you're going to have more thoughts. Judgments will come, what the heck am I doing this for, why am I have to do this, this is sounds silly, all sorts of things. But if you keep on focusing on the so and the hum, and when the thoughts arise, judgments arise, you let them go, you'll start to concentrate the mind. I'm giving you this because it's a classic meditation, you don't have to do this sound, but there is a power to it. Inhaling, hearing the sound of so. Exhaling, hearing the sound of hum. And so that's the first step. The other step is breath. If you can regulate your breath, you can start to calm down the body. So I'm going to give you a breath called the ujjayi breath. Ujjayi uh, means victory. And it's just a whispering sound like this. Can you hear that? It's a slight constriction of the epiglottis. There's a little explanation in the handout. Now what that does is it calms down the nervous system. You don't want to do it on the telephone because it might scare people. It sounds like Darth Vader from Star Wars. But it's a very calming, calming breath. So the way I teach it though is through the mouth. And eventually you want to breathe through the nose. So just imagine that you have a mirror in front of you. So just take your right hand like this and imagine it's a mirror and you're fogging the mirror. Go like this. 
and feel that. Take your other hand and touch it to the base of the throat. Okay, and then you're surprised. I don't know, you won the lottery. Do they have lotteries in India? Yeah. Okay, so you won the lottery. Surprise. The same thing. So it's. Okay, so that's how you do it to the breath, through the mouth, and then gradually you don't do it to the mouth, you do it to the nose like this. And eventually it becomes so calm that you don't even hear it. Just a slight constriction. And why that breath? First of all, you don't have to do that breath. It just calms down the nervous system. Okay, any questions about that breath? Y'all feel like you can do it? It might take some practice. Okay, so now the, 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 the technique is you're inhaling, hearing the sound of so, exhaling, hearing the sound of hum. You're focusing on that sound internally. Thoughts come, you let them pass. Memories come, you let them pass. Judgments come, you let them pass, like clouds across the sky, wind through the trees. You don't do anything about them. It's very difficult in the beginning, because you want to take that thought and start doing something with it. You want to turn it into a story and get involved in it. Just continue to return to the sound of the breath. All right, you think you can begin? Okay, any questions? All right. So begin by experimenting with the ujjayi breath. So start with the mouth. And then gradually close the mouth and try to do it through the nose. And take, make sure you're in your meditative posture, so base of spine presses the floor, crown of head presses to the ceiling, shoulders slightly <coughs> back and relaxed. You can also, if you don't like the sound, the mantra of so hum, you can just note rising on the inhalation and falling on the exhalation. But either way, you're focusing on a sound. So now begin. I'm going to use so hum, but you can say rising and falling if you like. So so on the inhalation, hum on the exhalation. Feet are flat on the floor, base of spine presses the floor, crown of head raises to the ceiling, shoulders slightly back and relaxed. As you inhale, you're repeating the sound of so. As you exhale, you're hearing the sound of hum. As you focus on so on the inhalation and hum on the exhalation, 
you're going to notice thoughts arise, judgments arise, worries arise, anxieties arise. You don't need to do anything with them, just let them pass like a phenomenon of nature. Clouds across the sky. Thoughts arise, memories arise, again and again, return to the point of focus. So on the inhalation and hum on the exhalation. Another thing that can help is called mudra, which is the position of the hands. So we can open your eyes for a moment and it's touching the index finger and the thumb at the tip, palms up on the lap. Or the palms can be down. <coughs> this helps in the meditation process, creates a circulation of energy. Continuing to Focus on so on the inhalation and hum on the exhalation. Fantasies arise, plans arise, memories, let them all go. All you're doing again and again is returning to so on the inhalation and hum on the exhalation. Inhaling, hearing the sound of so. Exhaling, hearing the sound of hum in your mind. Body is relaxed, shoulders are relaxed, face is relaxed, eyes are relaxed. The only point of focus in the body is a nice long spine. Discomfort arises, pleasure arises, sensation in the knees, just let them all go, return again and again, to 
So on the inhalation and hum on the exhalation. Whatever arises in your body, in your thoughts, just keep on returning to so on the inhalation and hum on the exhalation. Another technique that can help as you practice is to anchor the eyes by drawing them up inwardly to the point between the eyebrows. So you draw the <coughs> eyes up internally. meditation, I'm going to give you another practice as you do the Soham. So, from time to time you might want to do what's called the Kriya, which is a visualization of up and down the spine. So, as you do the So, you're imagining a light come from base of spine to the crown of the head. And then hum, you're seeing light descend back down the spine. So using the ujjayi breath, you're drawing light up the spine with the sound of so. And then light goes down the spine with the sound of hum. And now rub the hands together briskly, bring it to the face, forehead, 